Uh, I support Traveling Stories because it's something that's close to my heart personally. Um, I think it has a lot of value for the community and uh, for me, I was not a very good reader when I was younger. And I feel like the um, encouragement that it gives to children at a very young age helps them become better readers when they get older. It just really touches a lot of the things that I believe in, you know, how important reading is and how reading changed my life and the idea to be able to get books into the hands of kids that might not otherwise have them is just something that I knew I wanted to be a part of. I feel that giving back is so important and I think it's the start for these young children and these young people. Um, just reading is the start of so much more for them and it there's everything to be gained. Traveling Stories is kind of genius because it allows the community to take ownership of a public library and it sets up right in the middle of things so that reading is not something separate from life where you go to a separate place and sit somewhere and everybody's very quiet but it's this really interactive thing that can be embedded in a community. When I was introduced to the to, to Traveling Stories, I fell in love with it right away because it is really, you know, sometimes you know kids can't make it into Comic Con, they can't make it to an event, and if you can actually take the books to them where they can find them and, and be exposed to them um, in, in just a simple way in their own backyard, to me is just the coolest thing ever. It really just puts the opportunity, and I think if the opportunities there, the kids are going to take advantage of it. There are a lot of streets out there that need what Traveling Stories is doing. There are a lot of cities a lot of communities, a lot of children, a lot of families that need this help. When you're able to take a, a kid who may not have those opportunities anywhere else and, and be able to educate them, because basically that's what's happening. You're asking a kid to pick up a book, and it may be Dr. Seuss or it may be War and Peace, but it's the same thing because you're talking about giving a, a child an opportunity to learn how to read, and that can be a game changer. Well, I think traveling stories could be everywhere. I mean, certainly there's no question that it could be, you know, there's, there's no community in this country that couldn't be serviced by traveling stories. And certainly as you look at the international possibilities, it's pretty unbelievable. So I think that there's, you know, reading isn't just a, a U.S. thing or an English thing. It's something that, that we should be encouraging in every culture and every language.